watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Today we're going to be looking at a Swiss Army knife, of course by Victorinox, made in Switzerland. And just a quick look at the box here. This is 50 or excuse me 59301. We're looking at a Swiss Army hiker warthog knife. This one does have a opening style box so you can put it back in there and like some of the knives that have a glue styled end to them. Uh, earlier I had shown in a video of my Swiss Army Knife collection a hiker and this is just the standard hiker and I talked about how I wasn't going to really be collecting any kind of you know different handles just for the sake of the handle alone well i'm forced now to eat my words because i saw this on dlt trading and they offered this for 36 dollars dlt trading exclusive with this warthog style cover with the shark mouth and the rivets and the gray you know styled fuselage bodied uh you know representation here and uh this being the a10 warthog if you're not familiar which is a plane that is a ground support uh plane and it's pretty lethal has a gatlin gun and can accommodate many missiles of different types and uh just makes for a really good ground support vehicle or excuse me plane aerial aerial ground support and uh, has this military insignia on it um, if you're not familiar with A-10 it was used in Iraq campaign as well as many other campaigns to great effect and uh, it's a pretty devastating aircraft but you have here you know the military insignia the rivets the shark mouth all sort of just accommodated into one cover here and uh for that reason i just saw that i had a little extra cash in hand and thought to myself well i wouldn't want to miss out on that particular cover and if they ever went away i'd probably regret not buying one so i got my favorite swiss army knife which is the hiker and uh they offer this also in the classic sd the Tinker, the Swiss Champ, the Huntsman, the Rambler, and the Deluxe Tinker. Now this one is $36. Not exactly the greatest value. You're paying about well, $10 probably for the handles. Right now Amazon even has this regular hiker on sale for $21. So... As far as the budget thriftiness of this knife, no, no, it's not. It's not uh, really going to meet that category when you can buy the regular one for $21. So let me just say that right up front. Uh, I definitely be paid for the extra just to have the handles. And so if you're not a big uh, on, you know, having special covers or anything like that, I totally get it. I wasn't really in that camp myself still really I'm not but this was sort of one of those exceptions just because I'm a fan of that particular aircraft so I picked that up um, more to do with my love of that airplane than the knife itself um, another example is you know I also said I probably wouldn't be buying a bunch of different colors in this a locks and well I've kind of already bought in two different a locks so as you can see these guys know how to market they always seem to find a way to sell you another knife um, so if you are new to swiss army knives let me just warn you right now um, it can be hard to resist some of the offerings that they they put out and uh, you can get really carried away really quick so just uh just be be aware of that and uh, keep that in mind because these guys will sell you 200 knives before you know it 
and there's plenty of people out there that have more Swiss Army knives than they probably would be willing to admit. But there's that. Let's take a closer look at the blades on this guy. We have, you know, just the typical uh, hiker setup, and I've obviously shown this knife in full detail, so it's just repeating that. But uh, we'll talk a little bit about that clip here in a minute, too. I want to mention that. But you've got your spear point blade here, and, you know, it's a two and maybe five eighths inch total length with a cutting edge of just under two and a half inches, call it two and three eighths. And that's your main spear point blade. And that's got a nice pull on it. It's probably about a six. It, it locks up uh, pretty effectively. The lock up on these Swiss Army knives is pretty good. Um, you've got your three millimeter screwdriver blade as long as your, well as your can opener here on the right side. Over on the left side, you've got the five millimeter screwdriver blade as well as a wire stripper down here with this little notch and a you know regular bottle opener which works quite effectively actually here you've got the little key ring that you can attach to your keychain or as I'm going to show you that little clip and then on the opposite side here you have the smaller little uh, spear point blade which is really nice for smaller tasks it's nice to have that extra little blade there for uh, more delicate work. And you've got this center portion of the knife devoted to a saw blade, which is a fantastic tool for camping. It is a very sharp blade and many serrations and uh, very effective at cutting up limbs and small pieces of wood for kindling and whatever kind of fire wood tasks that you might need for a short jaunt in the woods. And of course you get also your toothpick here and white on this side as well as your tweezers over here and with the gray on this side. And then on the back you've got two more uh, little tools here. You've got the awl blade which has the little needle in it and the hole as well as that little cutting edge so you can use it as a leather punch or as a sewing sewing uh, tool. And then of course my reason for liking the hiker probably the most is this Phillips screwdriver which I use around the house quite a bit. And also, as I mentioned when I reviewed that, this can be used as a a weapon, uh, hopefully only for defense, unless you're just a horrible human being. But um, yeah, you can use that as a punch, uh, and that would probably do some pretty good damage to someone's face. So, there you have the tools of the hiker. But let me talk about these little clips. These clips um, were kind of introduced to me by... Uh, Jersey Knife Guy who recommended it, and I bought like three of them on Amazon. I'll show you a page here where you can buy them. They're really inexpensive. You can get like three of them for, you know, like around $10 or something like that or less. And they uh, they help keep the knife vertical in your pocket. Uh, if you wear loose-fitting clothes like I do, um, you know, you'll have some floppiness with a a knife like this in your pocket and this will just kind of keep it vertical in your pocket like this and uh, makes it much more co comfortable to carry but uh, I do recommend if you do want to carry those every day to definitely get these little clips they just make it life a little easier for you and they work really well but as far as the Swiss Army knife collection goes um, again it's just uh, it's very difficult to to stop uh, buying these style knives, uh, they just always seem to find a way to introduce something that you're going to like. And I would just warn that uh, if you do get into these or you're new to Swiss Army knives, that uh, you kind of have to set up <laughs> strict guidelines for uh, the amount that you're going to buy and what you're going to buy and try to fit just your needs because it can get carried away very quickly. 
I know people that have told me they've had uh, a thousand or over 900 knives in their Swiss Army knife collection. And I would ask, you know, anybody who does collect these to probably have a hard time admitting how many time, how many knives they have. So I just fair warning, you know, you, you can get carried away with these Swiss Army knives really quick. Um, and I've done pretty good to limit my collection to just the two duplicates here. And then I have three others that I have in my collection, one of which was given to me, which I'll be reviewing at some point. So we'll get to take a look at that one as well. But uh, Swiss Army knives are great. The quality is fantastic. Uh, the quality control is top notch. There's literally, I can't think of another company in the knife world that does a better job with their quality control. Um, and I'm sure that they're, you know, warranty service is pretty, pretty good as well. While I've never had to actually take advantage of that, uh, I'm betting that they do a pretty fantastic job taking care of their customers. So Swiss made Swiss Army knives. Here is the A10 Warthog Hiker. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. You guys have a fantastic day. Take care.